Hey, it's another interesting edition of Dan's Models. <laughs> this is John sitting with Dan, and we have a Southern Pacific HO scale something or other. Yeah, this is a, a gondola car. Um, that's by Exact Rail. Ah, so I expect it to be good already. Yeah, it is. Um, this is um, it's actually an authentic uh, SP car, which I, I like. wouldn't expect anything different from them. Yeah. Um, usually their stuff is, is prototypically accurate. Yeah. This is in their express series, which actually, um, has molded on grab irons and things like that, or molded on ladders in this case. I'm shocked. I'm surprised they even make something like that. Yeah. Usually they don't, but the, these are done good enough that it's almost hard to tell. Uh huh. Um, so it's, it's, I like, you know, it, it, it's pretty, um, pretty good looking. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking at the one over here on the right side of the car and it, it doesn't, it doesn't look molded on. Yeah, it is. It's but it's done very well. So, um, you know, and at casual glance you really can't tell. Anyway, I've done a little bit of detailing on this car and of course I, I did weather it quite a bit. Most of the time gondolas are pretty beat up looking. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I tried to weather this one and make it, you know, look rusty and old. Well you did a good job because <laughs> it looks pretty rusty and pretty old. <laughs> Thank you. So I like most exact rail stuff. I think this already had the Katie's on it. Um, I did add uh, uncoupling levers from Detail Associates, and I used some uh, high tech details train line air hoses. Is that the rubber kind? Yeah, this yeah. is a rubber kind. Yeah. Um, this is a older style, um, but yeah, they're still the rubber kind, so they're they're flexible, which is good because then they don't break. So this ladder's molded on too. Yeah. Oh, huh. yeah. I just. They they did a really good job molding these things on because yeah, they, they look did. separately applied. Yeah, it's um, it is pretty uh pretty well done. So I didn't do anything to the bottom of the car. This is just the detail that's already on it. Um, I did of course paint and weather the wheels and trucks, um, and you know, use some airbrush to dust up the bottom a little bit. But uh, you know, the detail itself is stock. It's very good detail for a lower end you know, version of their models. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, a lot of this isn't visible when it's cars on the track because, you know, it's it doesn't really stick down too much. So I used a combination of uh, powders and dry brushing on the inside to kind of make it look rusty and beat up. Yeah, it's definitely rusty and beat up. Yeah, so... Um, and one thing they didn't do on this car, which I think they did on one of their other gondolas that has the corrugated sides is that the corrugations don't carry over to the inside, which I think they should. Um, it, it would look more authentic. Yeah, but um, it's still a nice car. And of course, if you put a load in it, you couldn't see that. I haven't done that yet. Well, maybe that's what they're thinking. People will just load it with something and you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. Right. Because I, I think on a real car that the floor would show some kind of damage as well. It wouldn't just be a flat, nicely smooth, rusty yeah. thing. You know? No, they, they're, they're usually, you know, dented and scratched and, you know, they get beat up. One thing I like about this car is the, um, the panel that has the Southern Pacific and the reporting marks on it are actually separate pieces. Oh, so there are some separate pieces. Yeah, so. they actually, exact, and I have one actually, I, don't, I didn't bring it with me today, but um, exact Rail released a, a later version of this car that doesn't have those panels because SP um, rebuilt these at some point and got rid of those. Um, so they're just... Is it just painted on the side of the car? Yeah. it's. I, I don't think it says Southern Pacific. I think it just has the reporting marks SP hmm. and, and that's it. Yeah. Um, so it's it's not as intricate looking of a paint job. Not that this is that intricate, but... Well, know, no, but I mean... It's very basic. The thing is, though, for such a basic car, though, it's still interesting. Right. Right. So... So yeah, I have I have this version and then I have the the newer version. So maybe sometime I'll bring the, that one and show that one. Sure. All right. Well, I guess that'll do it for this week's edition of Dan's Models. We'll catch you next week. Yeah. See you later.